The tensions with Russia over Ukraine, the U.S. delivering today a written response to Russia's demands that Ukraine would never join NATO. The U.S. making no such promise. Here's our senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel from Ukraine again tonight. Tonight, the U.S. ambassador to Moscow delivering America's official response to Russia's security demands. A critical moment in this crisis that could potentially make the difference between war and peace in Ukraine. The Kremlin's insisted it needed written responses to its demands that Ukraine will never join NATO. Tonight, the Biden administration saying there will be no such guarantees. We make clear that there are core principles that we are committed to uphold and defend, including Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity and the right of states to choose their own security arrangements and alliances. Tonight, America's chief negotiator in talks with Russia warning again that the Kremlin could attack at any time. We certainly see every indication uh, that he is going to use military force uh, sometime, uh, perhaps now and uh, middle of February. Meanwhile, American F-15 fighter jets arriving in the Baltic states as the NATO alliance bolsters its defences against any possible attack. The Kremlin denies it plans to attack, but each day it releases more video of its troops engaged in what it calls military drills. The Ukrainian foreign minister telling ABC News he doesn't think an invasion is imminent, but admits the country's under pressure. At the moment, as we speak, this number and is insufficient for the full-scale offensive against Ukraine. Ian Panel back with us from Ukraine tonight. And Ian, NATO is trying to present a united front here to Russia, but a major member, Germany, uh, so far not willing to go nearly as far as other NATO members. In fact, tonight headlines about these helmets Germany is giving Ukraine to help. Yeah, that's right, David. I mean, Germany, like much of Europe's heavily dependent on Russia for natural gas, and it's saying it won't send weapons to Ukraine. But as you say, what it did commit to is supplying the country 5,000 helmets. Here in Kiev, the mayor of the city saying the offer left him, quote, speechless.